Hello everyone. Uh, so far, we have discussed about different concepts in functions, including inverse of a function, a range and domain in a function, roots and zeros of a function, and the composition of a function. And we have seen how we can actually find each of these uh, concepts on uh, functions in mathematics. But one thing is actually uh, very important that, and that should be discussed is the application of functions. So once we know what is a function, what is the real world application of these things? And today I'm going to discuss about one real world application of function and in the next video we will also discuss the, the applications of the function. Uh, and for today, my focus uh, is going to be on inflation. And this is one thing that actually uh, everyone is going to touch this topic. And it is a really tangible application of uh, function. In real world, inflation means uh, prices are increasing and the purchasing power of the, uh, actually the currency, let's say dollar, is declining and actually the inflation rate is the percentage increase of prices over a period of time which means that your purchasing power is connected and fully related to the inflation rate and there is a function for it which says that y n is equal to one over one plus i a to the power of n and in here, YN is actually the purchasing power of $1 or the, the currency. Uh, IA is the annual inflation rate and N is uh, the number of years. And from here we can see easily the YN depends on uh, IA, which is the inflation rate. And this power is connected to the uh, how many years have been passed from that money that you have received and from there you can say for example if you have one dollar how much is the purchasing power of that one dollar after uh, 10 years let's look at one example to clarify the applications of this uh, function as you can see in this example uh, we have what is the purchasing power of one thousand dollar after 20 years with the inflation rate of 4% per year. So for here, we can easily use that equation that we have seen, and it's gonna be y20 equals to the money that we have is $1,000, so it's gonna be $1,000 uh, times, and then from there, based on that equation, we have 1 over 1 plus, what is the inflation rate? It is 4%, so it's going to be uh, plus 0 0.04. And after 20 years in here, so it's going to be in power of 20. So it's going to be at the end $1,000. And the, the value of this is 0 0.456. And the final value is going to be 456. So if you get $1,000 today, after 20 years, that money is going to be less than its half. So the purchasing power of that is going to be less than its half, assuming that the inflation rate, rate is 4%. So if your salary is not increasing, it means that you are not matching with the inflation rate in your country and you need to discuss to your boss about this this is one of the real world applications of the functions that we have seen in here i'll bring some more examples in future to discuss the real world application of functions thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe our channel